Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. Today's video is going to be a show and tell of Rothy's shoes and I hope this video um, helps you if you're specifically looking to purchase a pair of Rothy's and are looking for size information, especially if you're around my size aka petite. So for those of you that don't know, Rothy's is a San Francisco based um, shoe startup. They've been around for a couple of years now but what's really cool about their product is that the fabric or the material that they use to make the shoes are actually made of recycled bottled water plastic. These um, I find are just very cool from a sustainability standpoint and also like a technology standpoint um, to be able to get this material. It's just a nice shoe in general. The, the style of the shoes are really great and also they are machine washable. I thought that was kind of neat. So um, this is why I'm doing my little show and tell. It's not a review per se but more of just um, advice and getting you guys familiar with the product. Last but not least I want to uh, clarify that I have no affiliation whatsoever with Rothy's. I am simply a customer of theirs who has purchased the um, items with my own money and um, I just know that a lot of people have questions about sizing and just Rothy's flats in general so I just thought I'd make this video. So with that, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so what I have here today are three of a Rothy's um, style of shoes. This is the flat, which is their first ever um, style of shoe when they first came out um, a couple of years ago. And then they went into the point style, so named because of the pointed toe. And the third style is the loafer. They also have one which is called a sneaker. Um, it's basically like a laceless sneaker, kind of have the same silhouette as the loafer. But um, I personally didn't like, um, didn't care for that style, so I only purchased um, these three styles um, that you see before you. So just a really quick anatomy of the shoe. We have here the outer which is made of knitted plastic thread which is kind of very nice and very flexible as you can tell like it has a good amount of give. And then on the inside you have a removable insole also made of the same material, the recycled water bottle plastic material but it's very nice and cushy and giving so that's really great. And then the third part is just the rubberized outer sole. Okay so on to the sizing of the shoes. So for 95% of my shoes I usually take a US size 5 or 5.5 depending on if the brand runs small or the style runs small but the exact measurements of my foot are from my longest toe up to my heel 8.75 inches and then the width of my foot from this point here where I have a um, I have bunion so I do have a bump here and I measured it um, to the widest part here near my pinky toe that is about 3.5 inches so I would be considered a little bit over what is the um, medium width. And I also want to mention that um, I am flat footed, so keep this in mind that you know everybody's foot is different. You know, some people have high arches, some people have flat feet like me, and all these other things. So I just put my exact measurements there so you know um, where I'm coming from and why I'm giving this kind of sizing advice. So First up, let's talk about the point shoe because this was the very first pair of Rothy's that I got and um, they mentioned that you should go half a size up from your normal size um, if you have wide feet. So I do have wide feet so I did the five and a half but um, when I got them I realized that even though I was able to walk around in them for a few hours um, you know as your foot expands throughout the day I realized that the pointed toe was just way too narrow for me so I had to size up and this actually that I'm holding is the uh, 6.5 size uh, because when I returned the five and a half I was like you know what I really don't know what the sizing is it felt very off so I just ordered six and six and a half to save myself the time and then um, I'm basically going to return the one that is um, that doesn't fit. Now for technical measurements of the shoes themselves so I have this in the six and a half which is going back and then this is the shoe that I've been wearing which is the size six. So what I did here is I actually measured the insoles just so that you guys can see like exactly what is the difference between the two. So uh, from tip to tip the six which is this one here is about 9.75 inches um, long 
and this one, uh, the six and a half, is about 10 inches. However, no one's foot is really shaped like a triangle, so this entire insole is not usable as is. So what I did was I actually observed where my toes would hit um, in the insole, and I used that as a practical measurement. Basically how I got the measurement was to subtract one inch from the top of the insole. So the usable insole for pointed flat is about 8.75 for the size six and nine for the uh, six and a half, which is again like a quarter inch difference. And so something just so you guys can see, I'm putting them side by side so you can see um, how the difference stacks up. So around here, not so much, but then as it, starts getting to the pointed toe that's where you can see most of the difference where the size six and a half is just ever so slightly wider so um in my opinion if you were to buy the flats and you're you know small footed but you have a wider foot um, like me i would say definitely try to go with the six as a starter and see how you feel about that um, if you have a narrower foot you may be okay with the five and a half my feet started really feeling um very pinched towards the the, the side of the shoe basically because there just wasn't enough width um for me okay so next up is the flat which is um, definitely a more forgiving rounded toe and I ordered this initially in a five and a five and a half because according to Rothy's website, they were like, just take your usual size or size up half a size um, if you have wide feet. With a size five, I actually couldn't get my foot into the shoe. It was just way too short and narrow, like it was just uncomfortable. So definitely nix the five. The five and a half, I could get my shoe, uh, I could get my foot inside, but the toes were bumping up right against the uh, edge, of uh, the, the front of the shoe and um, it was very uncomfortable. My toes felt really squished, so definitely wasn't a size five, uh, or a five and a half, rather. Um, so I returned those, and then I got a size six and a six and a half, just to be sure again, so that I wouldn't waste my time. Thankfully, the size six in the flats um, work really well for me um, in terms of length. It's really great I have enough space that my toes aren't scrunched up um, at the front of the shoe and that the width is also Forgiving enough. It's wide enough even for my wide feet. This black one here. This is the uh, size six and a half uh, This is the size six. So when you measure the measurement from um, tip to the heel is about nine point three seven five inches when you count um for the size six from tip to, to end and for the six and a half it's about nine point five inches but of course for this one since you know it's a rounded flat and your toes can use up all the space i didn't do the whole you know minus one inch for practical usable space and now to measure to compare both of them we have here the size six and a half at the bottom just to show you guys give you guys a good idea and the size six now the last shoe is the loafer and the loafer is basically the flat just with a little bit more extra fabric so that it covers more of your foot and for this one i actually didn't even bother going with the five five and a half i just went straight to ordering a six and a six and a half and I'm a six and a half in loafers. I honestly was expecting I was going to be a six, but because the, the fabric of the loafer, if you can see here, it's a little bit um, thicker, so it doesn't have as much give. So I think that because the fabric of the loafer is a bit thicker, it also contributes to, um, you know, less space within the within the shoe and so my toes felt very compressed in the size six but when i sized up to the six and a half um it was fine um it was very comfortable i didn't have any issues so if i were you i would say go with a six and a half for the loafer uh interesting thing about these insoles um, of the loafer and the flats is actually they use the same insole so you can actually interchange them and i did the whole you know measurements thing again and they were exactly the same um, but anyway, so you can interchange the soles and they're fine um, as long as they're the same 
same shape basically okay so now that that's the sizing done i just wanted to um bring up a couple of really quick tips um and answer a few faqs about the shoes first question that people ask about the shoes is do they make my feet sweat my answer is yes i usually wear leather ballet flats to work um and when i started wearing these shoes especially on hot days i would feel like yes my feet were hot my feet were starting to sweat um versus if i was wearing my leather ballet flats yes my feet would probably sweat but the leather you know is more breathable more porous uh, allows the heat to escape more this one not so much even though the fabric is knitted and um, it's just not as conducive to letting air you know airflow happen and you know plastic doesn't absorb any sweat or moisture at all so i would definitely feel it not to the point that it started to stink or that i felt uncomfortable but it was just something i was aware of and you know when i was at my desk i would just like take my feet out for like five minutes kind of air them out and then put them back in the shoe so yes they do kind of make your feet sweat or at least you notice that your feet sweat in them so that's the number one question folks uh, folks ask second question are raw feet going to stretch or mold with time no they do not stretch um, and they will not stretch with time yes the flats are very very pliable the fabric is very flexible so you do have a lot to give there but unlike leather shoes where you know you can use a shoe stretcher to stretch them permanently or they'll just mold to your feet with time um, the rothies aren't gonna change in length or width um, past what is possible in the actual fabric so that's why i had such a hard time with my five and a half pointed flats because even though they molded around my foot they just weren't going to stretch and so they were you know really squishing my toes by the end of the day so no they do not stretch with time but they will shrink and this is really really important um and the third point i want to make so how do you wash rothies how do you take care of them what you do is you take the insole out you take the flat toss both in the washing machine and put it on a gentle cycle with cold water and a mild detergent and then you air dry them don't use any heat any hot water because hot water and heat will actually react negatively and make the shoes and the fibers in the shoes shrink so definitely be aware of that for me when i wash my shoes i actually don't even put them in the washing machine so what i just did was bucket of water toothbrush scrub it with a very mild detergent laundry detergent and then i rinsed it with cold water and then i let it sit outside but in the shade at no point have i had my shoes sit out in the sun for a long period of time because i was afraid that it was going to shrink the fibers so that is it for my rothy's video um, i hope you guys found the information here helpful and i'll see you guys in my next video